Now this is not just an accessory for your TV, it's a lot more. A media center, land for internet TV, 1 terabyte built-in storage, 2 USB ports for adding more storage and a whole lot more. Nikhil Chavla tells us everything about this media streamer. I have the WDTV Media Live Hub Center today with me. It is the most comprehensive media center. It's got a one terabyte of hard drive. It's got USB ports. It's got HDMI ports, VGA ports, supports Dolby Digital. It supports all the codecs possible and it supports live TV, your games, RSS feed, Facebook, Flickr, lot of other services. Let me show you how it works. So I plug in the power cable. I plug in the HDMI cable to get the output on the TV and that's it. I need to just switch it on. And as you can see, the WDV Live Hub is loading on the screen. So as soon as I switch it on, it will show you the loading screen for the WDTV Live Hub. It says connecting to the network because it connects to the LAN network and gets your RSS feeds, your Facebook streams. So as you can see, this is the menu for the WDTV Live Hub. It's got video, it's got live TV, it's got services, games, RSS feeds, your file manager, the setup for background and LAN information. It's got photos, music, everything stored in one device, which is one terabyte of data. So if I click on videos, it will show me all the genres I have like Bollywood, documentary, Hollywood, other things. So if I click on Hollywood, it will load all the movies I have. The good thing about it, this is like it gets all the content information from IMDB. It loads all the posters automatically. If I want to know about a movie before watching it, I just need to go click on option and click on view info. It will show me the complete story of the movie. So if I go back and show you the services, which is I was talking about, if I go to services, it shows you all the online services it has. It has Facebook, AccuWeather, Deezer, Flickr, Launchpad, Live 365. On the left, you can see all the menu for web video, music, sports. So if I want to do something on social, I, can, I don't have to go to my phone. I can do it live on the TV. I can go to the news and weather, I can click on sports and get all the sports information, all the sports I follow and if I go to games, it's got services like the fun spot and play jam, it has got most of the games you would ever play and you can play it for a long time, it's got so many games in it. This is the file manager I was talking about, it shows all the folders information I have stored, I can play it directly from here or I can just move files, delete files, update files directly from here. So if I go and show you the space it has in it, I'll go to the settings, then system, and I'll open the disk manager. And as you can see on the screen right now, it's got 930 GB of total size, free space of 392 GB. I can add on more drives, pen drives, hard drives, and add more space to it. If you don't have the controller, you don't need to worry. You've got the app on your phone. You just need to install it from the App Store or the Android Market. Once you have the app installed, it gives you all the control that you get in the controller, all the controls right here. So if I keep clicking, going right in the menu, as you can see, it'll keep moving right. I just need to swipe through the pad here and it keeps moving right. I can play the movies from here. I can do the volume adjustments, everything in this remote app. So my final verdict on WDTV Live Hub is that it is one media center that you need to have. Instead of getting a portable hard drive for six, 7,000 for one terabyte hard drive, get a WDTV Live Hub for around 12,000 bucks in India and you would never complain about it. If it had Wi-Fi in it, it would have been a great device. The only thing lacking in this device is the Wi-Fi. Otherwise, it's got a LAN connectivity, but now who uses LAN? That's the Western Digital TV Live Hub for you. Any questions, guys? Nikhil, tell me, is there any format that the WD does not support? As of now, I haven't found any format. I've put in everything. It has played everything from OGG to WMV. Everything has been played on the WD TV. Can I make the WD TV Live Hub Wi-Fi enabled? If yes, then how? Yes, you can make the WD TV Live Hub Wi-Fi enabled. Just put in a USB Wi-Fi adapter. You can get it from the market for around 2000. There's a list of complete adapters that are supported by the WDTV Live Hub on the website. Is the built-in hard drive upgradable? The built-in hard drive is not upgradable because it's inside the system, it's embedded on the motherboard. But you can always upgrade it plugging in a USB pen drive or a USB portable drive to it. That then was Bite Me for this week. Write to us with your feedback or your story ideas. Our quest to find the best tech stories continues right here on this show. We'll be back, same time, same show, next week.